Okay, everyone, please all rise. Okay, Miss Castro, please lead a prayer. Okay, good morning, everyone. So please pick up pieces of paper under your chairs and arrange your chairs properly. And also, um, the class secretaries all rise. Okay, Miss Castro, please lead a prayer. Okay, good morning, everyone. So please. Okay, good morning, everyone. So please pick up pieces of paper under your chairs and arrange your chairs properly. And also, um, the class secretary, please check your attendance for me to know if there are students who are absent for this meeting. So none. Okay, very good. So continue your perfect attendance. So first, before we proceed to our formal discussion, so that there are students who are absent for this meeting. So none. Okay, very good. So continue your perfect attendance. So first, before we proceed to our formal discussion, so let us have first a short activity. So this activity is related to our topic to be discussed today. So here is the direction. So listen, so in a one first sheet of paper, answer the following question. So, activity one. So activity one, it is what we call encircle me. So here, you need to encircle the correct answer. So for activity one, there are only two questions. So this is activity one. Next is activity two. So activity two is what we call guess me. So there are Photos or pictures over there that represents our topic for today's discussion. So, um, this um, photo, so it represents our topics for today. So, I will give you three minutes to answer this activity. So, you may now start. Okay, time's up. Okay, now let's check. Okay, for activity one, so number one, letter A. Number two, letter B. So for activity two, integration rule. And number two, power rule. So who got the perfect score? Okay, very good. Three. So I will give you three minutes to answer this activity. So, you may now start. Okay, time's up. Okay, now let's check. Okay, time's up. Okay, now let's check. Okay, for activity one, so number one, letter A. Number two, letter B. So for activity two, integration rule. And number two, power rule. So who got the perfect score? Okay, very good. Three. Okay, very good. So at least two. Okay, very good. Okay, so before we proceed to our further formal discussion, let us have first the objectives for today's lesson. So the objectives, first, to define power rule of integration. So at the end of this lesson, so students will be able to, you will be able to, Define the power rule of integration. Next, to identify the formula to be used in solving integration. So at the end of this lesson, you will be know how to identify formula to be used in solving integration. And for number three, so this is very important, to solve problem in power rule of integration. So of course, at the end of the lesson, you will, you will be able to know how to solve Problems using the power rule of integration. So, let's proceed. So, for today's discussion, so it is all about power rule of integration. So, let us all know what is the power rule of integration. So, let us all read. So, what is power rule for So, it is all about power rule of integration. 
So let us all know what is the power rule of integration. So let us all read. So what is power rule for integration? So power rule for integration provide us with a formula that allow us to integrate any function that can be written as a power of x. So that is meant of a power rule of integration. That is what it, um, that is meant for a power rule of integration. So next, so here, if f of x is equal to a times x to the power of n, then f of x is equal to the integral of a times x raised to the power of n times dx. Or simply, then f of x is equal to the integral of a times x raised to the power of n times dx. Or simply, f of x is equal to a over n plus 1 times x to the power of n plus 1 plus c. Okay? Did you get it? Okay, so now let's proceed to the example. So example number one. So the integral of square root of x times dx. So first, let's integrate this problem. So it will be 1 over 1 half plus 1 times 1 over x squared plus 1 plus c. And then simplify this. So, it will become 1 over 3 half times x ta 3 half plus c. And then again, simplify. So, it will become 2 third times x 3 half plus c. So, as you notice our um, uh, problem, so there is a square root symbol. So, the answer must have also its square root. So, it will become 2 third times the square root of x cubed plus c. Okay? Did you get it? Okay, very good. Did you get it? Okay, very good. So, for example, number 2. So, here. So, the, uh, integrate, the integral of 4 minus 1 over x to the power of 2 times dx. So, the same process. First, integrate this problem. So, it will become 4x plus x to the power of negative 1 plus c. And then, simplify this. So, it will become 4x plus 1 over x plus C. Okay, did you get it? Okay, let's continue. Okay? Example 3. So, the integral of 3 over x to the power of 5th times dx. So, integrate this. So, it will become 3 over negative 5 plus 1 times x to the power of negative 5 plus 1 plus c. And then simplify. So it will become 3 over negative 4. So um, negative 4 because we subtracted negative 1 plus 1. So it will become negative 4 times x to the power of negative 4. Then we subtracted negative 5 plus 1. So it will be negative 4. And then plus c. And then simplify this. So, it will become 3 over negative 4x to the power of 4 plus c. Okay, did you get it? Okay, very good. Okay, now, let's check if... Okay, very good. Okay, now... Let's check if you really listen to my discussion. So, activity. So, let us all read first the direction. So, 
make a group consist of five members and answer the following questions. So, um, I want you to group yourselves into five. So, each um, um, question has a points of five. So, I will give you five minutes to answer this activity. Okay? You may now start. Okay, time's up. Let's check your work. So for number one, who got the correct answer? Okay. Okay, time's up. Let's check your work. So for number one, who got the correct answer? Okay. So let's check. So number one, so the integral of negative one over x squared times dx. So, here is the solution. So, integrate first. So, negative 1 over negative 2 plus 1 times x to the power of negative 2 plus 1 plus c. And then, simplify this. So, it will become x to the power of negative 1 plus c. And then, um, we must follow the um, the, the equation, the original equation. So, the result will be 1 over x plus c. Okay, did you get the correct answer? Okay, very good. Okay, for now, let's proceed to number 2. So, the integral of 2 times the cube root of x times dx. So, here is the solution. So, the same process. So, first, integrate. So, it will become... 2 times 1 over x cubed times dx. Simplify this. So, it will become 2 over 1 third plus 1 times 1 over x cubed plus 1 plus c. And then, simplify. So, the result will be 2 over 4 times 4 over x cubed plus c. And then, we must follow the original equation here. So, um, the result will be 3 half times the cube root of x to the power of 4 plus c. Okay, did you get the correct answer? Okay, very good. So, who got the perfect score? Okay, very good. Okay, since you already know how to... Um, calculate a problem using the power rule for integration. So, let's check your... Uh, let's just have our activity individual in the problem. Okay. Let's just have our individual activity. Since you already know how to solve the uh, problem using the power rule for integration, so let us have an individual activity. So, here... The directions are in a one whole sheet of paper. Answer the following question. So, I will give you five minutes to answer this activity. Okay? You may now start. I will let you say, I will say, I will say, I will say, I will say, Okay, for activity one, so encircle me. So there are two questions that consist of activity one. So encircle me. So you need to encircle the correct answer. So for activity two, let's have a We have three activity. Okay. Activity one. Okay. okay, for activity plus C. Okay, did you get the correct answer? Okay, very good. So, who got the perfect score? Okay, very good. Okay, since you already know how to um, calculate 
uh, problem using the power rule for integration. So, let's check your... Uh, let's just have our activity individual activity. Let's just have our individual activity. Since you already know how to solve the uh, problem using the power rule for integration, so let us have an individual activity. So here, the directions are in a one whole sheet of paper, answer the following questions. So I will give you five minutes to answer this activity. Okay, you may now start. Ay, wala sa siya. Ako sa'yo. Sa'yo ang dahil na. Tulog ay nakabok yung activity. Pwede ka lang next. Okay. For activity one, so, encircle me. So, there are two questions that consist of activity one. So, encircle me. So, you need... Since you already know how to solve the... Uh, problem using the power rule for integration. So let us have an individual activity. So here, the directions are in a one whole sheet of paper. Answer the following questions. So I will give you five minutes to answer this activity. Okay? You may now start. Okay, for activity one, so encircle me so there are two questions that consist of activity one so encircle me so you need to encircle the correct answer so for activity two <clears throat> we have three activity okay. activity one okay. okay for activity two Solve the following questions and show your solution. So, um, this will be used by so, uh, solving power rule for integration. So, there are two questions. And then for activity 3, so this is what we call guess me. So, guess what is meant for this picture. Okay, so I will give you 5%. So, I will, so I will give you five minutes to answer this activity okay let me now start okay are you done <laughs> okay time's up okay let's check your work Okay, for activity one, so number one, letter A. Number two, letter B. So for activity two, just leave it like, just leave it here. Okay. Activity, two. Uh, activity two, I'm the one who will check, yes. check okay. with activity. Okay. Just leave it, because I'm the one who will check it. Okay, so for activity two, I am the one who will check your answers. Okay, for activity three, so number one, integration rule. Number two, power rule. Okay. Okay, are you done? <laughs> Okay, time's up. Okay, let's check your work. Okay, for activity one, so number one, letter A. Number two, letter B. So for activity two, just leave it like, just leave it here. Okay. So for activity two, I am the one who will check your answers. Okay, for activity 3, so number 1, integration rule. Number 2, power rule. Okay.
Okay, everyone, pass your papers forward. So, the remaining activity, the activity two, so I will be the one who will check that. So, the final um, result will be tomorrow. So, copy this assignment. So, this assignment will be passed tomorrow. Okay? Are you done? So, that would be all for today's discussion. Goodbye, everyone.